190% more damage. Water Phantom Thief had a 190% damage increase for his skill. Look at this. Water Phantom Thief, Crime Alert, increased damage by 190%. Usually, see, in these in these balance patches, oh, this is 10%, 12%, 15%, 190% is a pretty crazy number for this. Uh, that's for his third skill. His second skill, uh, Arrest, uh, has a 167% damage increase. Um, and also, the attack always ends the crushing hit. So, a lot of you guys uh, have not heard of crushing hits. I thought that was weird when the artifacts came out. A lot of people were like, what's a crushing hit? I've never heard of crushing hit before. It's been in the game the whole time. It's always been in the game. So, crushing hit is... Uh, Glancing hit, normal hit, crushing hit, critical hit is not a critical hit. It's not as strong as a critical hit. It is better than a normal hit. It's like in between. So it does, if I recall correctly, 30% more damage. Uh, and when it says, let's take a look at, uh, let's take a look at the skills. Um, when it says crushing hit, that means it's not gonna land as a glancing hit. It always lands a crushing hit regardless of enemies attribute. That means it's not gonna land as a glancing hit, which means you have a better chance of like actually activating your debuffs, right? So, uh, first skill, 20% chance here, goes up to 50% chance. Second skill, I think the second skill is the skill I don't like, man. Three turns and it's like, we're gonna slow. <laughs> Like, slow and a crushing hit. So, crushing hit, crushing hit. And this is nice for those artifacts. We don't have an artifact that has crushing hit on them because I keep selling those. Uh, but th for those artifacts that have crushing hit damage bonuses, this is nice for a crushing hit artifact uh, because he's got two skills that do crushing hit. So, this one's a stun. This one is a slow. Um, and then this one, oh, a slow and a stun. And then this one is a defense break and attack pushback. So he does a lot of, he's got also got a leader skill, uh, accuracy leader skill, but he does a lot of debuffs and everything's crushing hit, crushing hit, crushing hit. So the nice thing about crushing hits is potentially it can, uh, well, it's got a higher chance of activating debuffs, of course, than uh, something that's not gonna land a crushing hit. Um, and it's also going to potentially be really good against things like Camila, Ragdoll, uh, yeah, we're gonna hit those. Actually, maybe that could be. We'll we'll test it out. But I mean, we're here. Why not test it against uh, against some ragdolls? Um, so what did I say? Camila, Miho, ragdoll. That's what we're thinking. This is gonna be really nice against those. So we're gonna test it out against some of those units. Uh, one of the things, though, one of the things to take into consideration is when it is a crushing hit, crushing hit, crushing hit. That means not critting. So that means we don't care about crit rate, we don't care about crit damage, we just want attack power. But if it can't crit, then you're missing out, like then the damage multiplier could be crazy, but you're still missing out on a lot of damage by it not critting. So let's go into, uh, so that's the kind of the weird thing where the damage multiplier being increased so much is really not as impactful as you think it would be. Um, if it was like something that could actually like land critical hits, uh, would be way, way, way more than <laughs> like, oh my god, it's doing 150,000 AoE damage, right? Uh, so anyway, let's take it into some battles and let's see what the Water Phantom Thief can do. He is just on, right now, we're gonna change his runes. He's on currently attack, attack, attack. Because crit damage doesn't, like, it w seems weird, right? But crit damage doesn't make any sense on him, right? So he's just on attack, attack, attack with whatever uh, violent will. We will see, uh, we'll see what we can actually make happen with him. We'll see if he's could potentially be a Miho killer. Uh, we'll see how he does against Ragdoll. We'll change his runes halfway through uh, to make him faster and uh, and different. But uh, yeah, let's let's see, let's see. So here we are in Guild Wars. I set up a defense, Kamun, Lauren, and uh, Miho. This is something you may see here and there. We're gonna use, uh, this is just there for nothing, attack power leader skill. Um, and then these are basically, I wanna see how much damage this lure can potentially do. Again, he can't crit. So, we're gonna crushing hit. <laughs> we're gonna see how much damage he can crush. He can do crushing hit. We're gonna see if this can possibly uh, take out. Uh, I guess we'll do. Uh, we'll do this. Why not? Uh, we'll see if we can possibly take out this Miho. There are shields on the team. Maybe we should have taken the shields off. Let's see if we can take. Let's see how much damage we can do. Even like through through the because it's a, a little bit of shields. It's not like a crazy. Not like. It's it's one set of shields on Lauren, right? And she doesn't have crazy HP. So let's see how much damage we can do through that. Not a whole lot. Let's uh, do one of these. Let's see how much damage we do with the arrest, attack buff, defense break. But again, crushing hit. So let's see. 
Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. And additional turrets. So it's not, that's not as bad as it could be, right? That's not as bad as it could be. Uh, not a super huge fan of the fact that it doesn't do... Like, it can't crit, so it doesn't really do that much damage, right? So let's do uh, another one of you. Let's do... Uh, oh, thank you. Everything bomb rocking today. <laughs> of course it is, because we're testing out a defense, and it's not an actual battle. So of course we're violent rocking. Uh, very nice. Now we made him faster. He has less damage, but he's faster and he's tankier. For uh, we're gonna try him in arena offense. He's got some uh, accuracy in this 21% uh, accuracy in that uh, artifact. That's why he doesn't have too much accuracy. I just swapped over some runes from uh, another unit to put on there. We're gonna use him with the Chung Pung uh, for strip AOE attack age, uh, at AOE defense break, attack age reduction. Chung Pung is gonna do some more attack age reduction, some cooldowns, which should hopefully cool down the um, hopefully cool down the Samoth and the Tyrannus, and then we're gonna snipe something with uh, Tanya. He's actually a really nice combination with also with uh, Chi Wu. We'll, we'll take him in with uh, Chi Wu. We actually should have taken him in with Chi Wu. He's a nice combination with Chi Wu as well. So we got some uh, some of these. Doesn't trigger Miho's passive. It's not critting, right? So let's do uh, Serious Matter. Do some uh, triple hits attack each reduction. And of course that trigger, of course that triggers Miho's passive. Let's do uh, one of these. Let's do one of these. Hopefully it doesn't hit Miho. It's gonna hit Miho, isn't it? Okay, it doesn't hit Miho, okay. Do we cool him down? Do we cool? <laughs> no, we didn't cool him down. How do we not go? Chung Pui, that's what, that's what you're supposed to do. Buddy, buddy, that's what you're supposed to do. Who do we cool down then? Oh, I like how my Tanya doesn't, <laughs> my uh, Tiana doesn't crit there. Lulz. We didn't cool down anyone that's a Chung Pung today. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, man. Oh, welcome back. <laughs> welcome back. Oh, don't you love it when everything uh, works wonderfully anytime you want to do a, a YouTube video? I'm sitting here trying to find ragdolls. I can't find any ragdolls. This defense might work. We're going to take the same team into it. We're going to see uh, Going to see how we do. We should do this. Th this team should be uh, really nice against this, right? And this is something you may not necessarily want to Lucian. Uh, I mean, you could still Lucian this. But it's going to give you a little bit of a harder time lucianing this. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Uh, maybe we can get some... Uh... I really want... Oh my god. We got to do We gotta do these. Hopefully we bounce rock. We increase the cooldown a little bit. Uh, we'll do one of these. We will do... We increase the cooldown on this... Uh... Some moth, right? Well, I mean, that's not really showing too much, but, uh, can we not crit? No, we crit. Can we not crit on this, uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, do one of these. There, oh, look how beautiful that is. Look how beautiful that is taking care of the, uh, what's her face? I guess I'll do some damage to this, uh, no, don't, don't do that. Do it as first skill. Yeah, because then it crits, and then it crits, and then it's like, oh, the first skill can still crit. Let's do uh, some more tech age. You know what? I should have done a tech age decrease on both of those. Let's do one of these. Let's see if we can. She's got this stupid Triana thing. Triana, I'm trying to do uh, Water Phantom thing. So if you keep trying to kill him, that, that doesn't really help. Uh, well, it doesn't help me anyway. Uh, let's do a defense. Never mind. Defense, never mind. My favorite skill. That's, I'm, I'm saying that a lot this week. Look at that. Okay, so very nice, very nice. We got some uh, defense break, some attack age reduction, and she's gonna proc. No, she's not gonna proc. We'll do uh, some of these, some more attack age reduction. But at least we can see some gameplay of him uh, not triggering Camila's passive, not triggering uh, Miho's passive. Uh, this is not gonna do really any damage at all. Yeah, that did nothing, but uh, we'll do a stun. There we go. Unfortunately, the first skill still <laughs> the first skill. Nothing stopping the first skill from critting. Uh, let's do one of these. We can just uh, keep skill oneing with the um, unless Chung Pung dies, which he will, because Camila's gonna crit on him. I'm not sure why. Uh, so we can keep doing skill one and skill three with Chung Pung and keep decreasing the attack age of Camila. In in, th in theory, <laughs> in theory, and then Camila's still gonna get turns. Um, yep, and then he dies, and then I just show you how Camila can solo a team for whatever reason in 2020. 
<laughs> right. Right. No, this is perfect. No, it's perfect. Is that exactly what I wanted? Exactly what I wanted to show. Let's try the interaction with him and Molly. Molly's a thing. Let's put it on one. Let's see what happens. Let's slow it down and we'll see exactly what happens here. So we strip. Man, so many people think they need Zyros for uh, for arena offense. Zyros is not the one you need. That's not the one you need. The one. Well, we still have a defense break. I just would rather uh, rather some other stuff. Uh, Zyros is not the one. You need Tiana. That's the one you need. Nice. That's not what I wanted to happen, but if you say so. We're off to a, we're off to a good start. We're off to a good start. So, uh, let's see. Let's do one of these. Let's do uh, one of these. Snipe him. 43k. And we hit the molly. And 20k. And we'll see if we... Did we cool down the Perna? No. That's a no. We did not cool down the Perna. Okay. We'll do a uh, strip defense break. There we go. We'll do a defense break to you. Just kidding. We'll do a uh, some damage to you. We'll do a... Let's try to stun her. Very nice. Let's do one of these. Very nice. Let's do a decrease tech H. Let's do a triple hit. Let's do a capture opportunity. It's not bad. Yeah, Zyros is not the one you need. Tiana's the one you need. That's that's the important Rena <laughs> offense one. So this one, all passives, right? Uh, Rena even crit hit, right? You crit hit, uh, she gets a shield. So let's see. Probably not the uh, best idea taking. What a wacky defense. Probably not the best idea taking a, um, a what's-his-face into the thing. Let's do some uh, tech age reduction. Let's do uh, one of these. Let's do... Can we crit? Yes. Very nice. And then we're going to do... I don't know what we're going to do. Uh, Rina? Okay. That's fine. We'll do a... Uh, and then he dies. Okay. We'll do uh, one of these. Seems like he's a little squishy, so that's fine. Uh, we're gonna take a revenge hit and kill Chung Pung. And we will. Actually, we can see. You know what we can see? Um, yeah, Disturb. I, I don't even know when they put Disturb HP Recovery in there, but uh, they put Disturb HP Recovery in there at some point. Let's do one of these. Let's do one of these. Yeah, that's still. That's still crit. He doesn't even have high crit rate. What are you doing? Uh, this game's funny, man. This game's funny. Uh, let's do one of these. Try and defense break this uh, arena. Okay, let's do uh, let's do a stun. Very nice. Let's do a defense. Never mind. <laughs> defense. Never mind. Now, uh, we will do a uh, one of these. Right, so that can't trigger her. Uh, so they're killed. And then we'll do one of these. And then we'll do uh, one of these. Interesting. So we got to see his interaction between basically, I mean, his interaction really hasn't changed much, but we got to see his interaction between the um, the passives, right? So he's the, he's a pretty good unit against just passive crits, like again, like Miho, like Camila, like uh, what else, Rina, things like that. So he's a ragdoll, but I couldn't find any ragdolls, right? Um, so again, he's he get, no no get more turns, more turns, more turns, more turns. Uh, so he's a pretty nice unit against those things. Uh, but also, he's not too bad at Dragon's B12 because he does AoE defense break and attack age reduction. So he's a little bit stronger than Galleon in terms of like him making it a little bit safer. So I might actually keep him uh, ruined up with these runes that he was on. Because I think this might actually be a decent team. I guess we'll see, but you know, it's, it's Spectra, Vertiheal, uh, Water Homunculus, and anything is kind of a decent team, right? So, uh, yeah. But he's he's pretty decent in dragons because not only, like, Galleon does an attack power buff, obviously that's great to do more damage, but for dragons B12 you kind of want a little bit more safety, and Lure just being fast with good accuracy and on violent, um, is, uh, is, is really nice. So, uh, or, or, or provides you a lot more safety, because Galleon doesn't really do safety. Galleon's like, I do damage, I'm gonna do a lot of damage. This is kind of... This is kind of better than probably better than I thought I realized it was gonna be. Yeah, this this is not bad. This is a oh did this is pretty good dragons be told to you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is a pretty good dragons be 12 team. 
That's not bad. That, that, and that dragon didn't really get a... Wasn't really looking like it was gonna move at any point. Uh, anyway, that's kind of interesting, right? That's kind of interesting. Um, so yeah, you can build him for... Uh, against passives, against things like Miho, against things like Camila, but also, I mean, honestly, you kind of scogle Camila and Rina, uh, not Rina, well, you could do that too, but you could kind of scogle like the Camila and the uh, Miho and stuff like that, but, uh, but it's just another option, right? Just another option, and pretty decent at, uh, Dragon Z 12, seems like. So anyway, uh, I'll test it out some more, I'll let you guys know. I'll leave a note in the description, uh, what my results were. I'll keep running this team, uh, so we can, uh, so I can get a better grasp of, uh, how well it works. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That's it for this one. Uh, I mean, we basically, it's basically just about his damage buff, right? We're basically just taking a look at his damage buff, but... We mainly just saw him basically the same way as he used to work before, is just his crushing hit, crushing hit. We may, we, we saw less of his damage buff, because it's really, he still doesn't do that much damage, because he's, he's a, he's support type unit, right? So he doesn't do that much damage, he's got low base attack, not anything too special. But we, we at least got to see what crushing hit does, and how crushing hit can be beneficial. So anyway, uh, I'll, I'll uh, leave some more information on this Dragons team uh, in the comments, see how, uh, how it does. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you as always in the next one.